All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. I hope you enjoyed those songs. That was Tasha Cobb's Leonard with OMG or Oh My God. And also that was Justin Bieber featuring Chinch the Rapper with Holy. And this is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You are listening to WKTJ Rivers Radio. It is October the 9th, 2020. And this is what is in your news. Governor Gretchen Whitmer is very pleased to know that our FBI and our Michigan State Police are protecting her and her family because armed men were plotting to harm her, kidnap her, and kid and kill her. But this plot was foiled because of something that was placed on Facebook, according to the FBI. And there are many people in Michigan that did not like the way that Governor Whitmer handled the pandemic and wanted to stop her at all costs, even trying to threaten her life. So the plot thickens in how it came about. On Facebook, there were people who were planning to shoot her if she opened the door to her house. Anyone else around were going to be kidnapped and tortured and 18 men have been arrested for this attempted murder some were arrested for different charges but the attorney general is sorting that out so Kudos to those who did stop this plot and trying to stop when someone is just doing their job. Man or woman that is not called for. Moving on. (sighs) During the protests in Wow, what so what Tosa? I can't even say a wow, what Tosa, Wisconsin, during the protests. The mother of Alvin Cole, who was a 17 year old black teenager who was shot and killed by police. Officer Joseph Mensa on February 2nd, 2020, outside of a cheesecake factory in Watawosa, Wisconsin, was the third fatal shooting Mensa had been involved in. And on October 7th, Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm said he would not charge Mensa in the fatal shooting. But the family members of Elvin Cole were arrested during protests of his death. Wow. Wow. That's a daggone shame, but okay. Moving on. President Trump is not being forthcoming with his health record. And the big question right now on Capitol Hill is how long has it been since his last negative test for coronavirus? Because last week, 
he did test positive for coronavirus along with his wife and others in the White House. And he did time, he did four days at a hospital and was released this past Monday and says do not be afraid of the of the virus and other things he had been on some different antibody vaccine drugs and on Tuesday he told his colleagues and those representatives for the stimulus package to stand down and stop the negotiations on the stimulus package. Then, later that day, he said he wanted to resume the negotiations and make a deal on airlines and one other thing which is a non-starter for Nancy Pelosi because she's not piecemealing any bill. But on that note, the stimulus package is coming along because earlier today, President Trump said that he wanted to make a deal and brought up negotiations to come up to one point seven trillion dollars up from a trillion dollars or a hundred million dollars I say a billion dollars from last time they negotiated and counter offered for the stimulus package so this is coming along slowly but surely and many are speculating why this has not been already resolved with less than 25 days before the presidential election there are already over 5 million people have already casted their ballots and voted but millions are suffering food, rent, and job-wise because the federal government has failed to provide assistance. But even though they have failed, they are now negotiating with progress. So, Madrid has imposed a state of emergency because of their coronavirus issues. And it has gotten that bad in Madrid, Spain. They now have 861,112 confirmed cases and 32,929 deaths in Madrid, Spain. And that's to add to the global cases to where we have now 36,706,213 confirmed cases and 1,064,420 deaths and 25,510,557 people have recovered from the virus. And... It's not getting any better. We're no closer to a 
vaccine than we were last week. And like many of the doctors have said, that a vaccine will not be available until it's correctly tested. And it's known that it can be properly done right. There's a new FBI warning about those who carry guns that shall be yet to be determined because the news just flashed the FBI warning. There have been new cases of the virus at the Tennessee Titans uh, football camp. Our practices. And not only that, uh, I believe that many games are subject to Increased cases around the league because of failure to wear a mask during actual play. And Brady, who is now on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, lost track of the downs during the game and Tampa Bay lost against the Chicago Bears during Thursday night football. So my number was wrong during the stimulus. The White House has up their ante on the stimulus bill. Larry Cutlow says White House is preparing a breakthrough proposal for coronavirus stimulus and has changed their number from 1.5 or 1.6 to 1.8 trillion dollars. The White House proposes to go bigger. Trump says go bigger. Trump is planning campaign event even at the White House. Even though he's infected with the coronavirus. This dude is crazy. Wow. So, with them having a different attitude towards how much they should have for the stimulus bill, the Wall Street economy has surrounded itself by this reaction. And McConnell says any deal on stimulus unlikely before the election. But not according to Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin, who have been talking constantly. But I'm starting to agree with Mitch McConnell because it just looks good until they don't do anything. But Nancy is standing firm on her 2.2 because of the needs of the American people. And China has joined COVAX. Global initiative to provide COVID-19 vaccines to the poor. 
in poorer countries. And COVAX is the WHO led global coronavirus vaccine effort that the U.S. has dropped out of. So, Russia has also said that their vaccine is up and prepared because they have started dispersing to their residents without proper testing. And that question of why so fast, so soon, without preparation comes up. So, my personal opinion is that they need to do it right or don't do it at all. They're going to kill a lot of people messing with this vaccine they need to test right and test correctly and that's why I believe it's taking so long for us to get a stimulus deal because we need money for testing tracing and treatment and the GOP is downplaying how much it will take to actually do this right So, Trump is going to hold an in-person White House event tomorrow despite having the virus. When he was in Minnesota at his rally, nine people were infected and two were hospitalized. Even though he has the virus, and they, they claim over the last 24 hours that he has become asymptomatic. <laughs> But now he's ready to undergo a televised remote medical evaluation. I think this is all for show. This is my opinion. Personally, I think he never had the virus, but he wanted to tell people he did so they feel sorry for him and vote. Or would give him more airtime and keep people saying his name and give his popularity a boost because Biden is up in the polls. And when they're not talking about Biden, they should be talking about him in his eyes. So he can lie and easily say he had the virus, which he probably never did, and other things will come out. But even if he did have the virus and he's knowingly spreading it, they don't really care. Now he says the absentee ballots are okay. When recently he was downplaying the fact that ballots with his name on it were found in the trash. And apparently these were military ballots in Pennsylvania. But you never can figure out what he's up to. And Nancy Pelosi feels that he is unsuitable to fulfill his duties uh, while he is in a altered state under the virus and wants to talk about the 25th Amendment which states that it deals with the issues related to the presidential succession and disability. It clarifies that the vice president becomes president if the president dies, resigns, or is removed from office and establishes procedures for filing a vacancy in the office of the vice president and for responding to presidential disabilities. The 25th Amendment was submitted to the states on July 6, 1965 by the 89th Congress and was adopted on February 10, 1967 during the 90th Congress. 
the day that the requisite number of individual states had ratified the amendment. So she also questions Donald Trump's fitness because he is obese and what his doctors have said he is unhealthy and should be looked at being as cautious because of this virus and he's still downplaying the severity of his condition. And 25th Amendment will remove him from office. Okay, the NFL's memo says the coaches and others are subject to penalty for approaching officials without a mask. And it's just my personal experience that I've seen NFL games where coaches were wearing no masks, officials were wearing no masks, players were wearing no masks. And it's just kind of a void point to even think that they're not going to catch something even without fans in the stands. Now, the fans in the stands thing can be a difficult issue because there have been games I've seen where teams have allowed fans in the stands. And the fans are wearing the mask, but they are not socially distancing. But there are a number of stands, fans, I should say, that would take their mask off to cheer or eat or drink and just leave them off during the game while others are wearing the mask. People don't take the masks seriously. So, there's a new penalty for NFL coaches due to COVID-19. 15 yards for taking mask off to yell at a ref. Now, that's a new one. So I've seen that many times, but I didn't think they would actually enforce anything which they have and Trump has different tweets that have been taken down by Twitter for misinformation according to the virus and they will fact check you on Facebook as well So now, the Tennessee Titans have been able to finally get out of that negative arena when it comes to having positive tests for the virus. They have come up with no positive tests recently. As well as the New England Patriots have no new positive coronavirus tests. So now their depth chart has changed. For the second straight day, all Patriots COVID 19 tests have come back negative. And the game is on track for the next game. And the Lakers look to clinch the next NBA 
NBA Finals Championship tonight at 9 p.m. They are up in the series 3 to 1. So tonight at 9, they're going against the Heat to end the series and claim their championship. This will be LeBron James' fourth ring if he does, in fact, seal the deal tonight. I don't really care for the Lakers, but to get this over with, the Lakers. Because the Heat, I feel, do not have anyone that can really keep them from losing. Everybody knew that the, the Lakers were dominant this year. And they didn't really even have a season. So this is kind of a, like a handicap championship to me. I don't understand why they even have these sports going on when they didn't have a full year to actually see who would be the best when they know who is dominant in the season because of what's going on. Half the players refuse to even play. So it's not really a fair situation. And they call it the bubble. And most people refuse to even go in the bubble. So I don't know. But when all said and done, I know the Lakers will pull this off. If not tonight, then the next game. But they will pull it off. And last but not least... Hurricane Delta has made landfall or will make landfall in southwestern Louisiana really soon. Storm is now a strong Category 2 storm as it approaches the Gulf Coast. So my heart and prayers go out to Louisiana as another hurricane attacks the south. That is basically all the news I have, but we are prayerful that things are going to change in this country. Make sure you get out there and vote, 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 vote. Come November 3rd, you can vote early. Many, five million people have already voted, put it that way. So do not let anything stop you from voting. Nothing. You can vote third party if you don't like the candidates. You can vote for someone else on the ticket. You can just to my understanding, leave that part blank if you don't want to vote for president. But the House and the Congress have people in elections. So that is a big part of this country's progress. At least vote for Congress and the House to see where we will go in the future. All right, this is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You're listening on WKTJ Reverence Radio. It is October 9th, 2020. Here's your new song for the week.